Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you, John. Well, Pastor, tomorrow the church celebrates 42 years. And, you know, you think of the longevity of that. That's quite a long time. What provoked you to start a church? Well, I wanted to be famous. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'll give you the short version, of course, because tomorrow we may, we may talk a little bit more about it. We obviously will because it's 42 years. But I, um, <clears throat> I, I, I sensed a call to teach the Word, and the doors had been closed in the place that I had been, and not having a sense to go uh, to work full-time in any other field because I had a great and distinct sense of a calling to pastor, um, I resigned my position as an assistant in another Calvary ministry. And by the um, the request of my sister-in-law, Patty, who at that time was Patty Lopez, she's Marie's uh, sister, at her request, because she said, where are you going to go to church? And I said to her, we haven't decided yet because it was a fresh decision. She said, will you teach me until you find a place to, to meet uh, at, at, you know, go to church? And I said, of course. And that's how our church began. So I always look at the beginning of our fellowship as a call to one person. I felt a sense of responsibility for the one person. And that's how my Bible study here in the area originally began, John, as you'll, you will know, perhaps not really remember that well, but you will know. Um, my brother had gotten saved and um, didn't have a place to go to church in this area and was not going to church. And me, not knowing the area, I couldn't recommend one. So when my brother got saved, my sister and I began to drive out into the city of Ontario to teach him. And that's what got me in the area in the first place because I'm from Norwalk originally. I was doing a home Bible study in Norwalk and I added a second one and that was to come out into this area and to teach my brother. So it's always been a call to one person. It was originally to, in this area, to my brother. It was originally uh, in this area for my sister-in-law, and my first Bible study originally was for two people. It was for my mom and my dad. And so I began my first Bible study in 1973 at the home of my parents. Then I started another Bible study that I was teaching here in the area for my brother, and then the church actually sprang at the request of my sister-in-law. And so that's how the church began. It wasn't with this intent to to have a church for 42 years, it was to care for somebody's immediate needs, the spiritual needs now, until we could find a place that we all could go to church. And it just so happened that uh, our first Sunday morning, uh, we had uh, 25 or 30 people in, and uh, they continued coming, and the result was 42 years of ministry. Now looking back today, back 42 years ago, would you have ever thought that you would, be, you and Marie would be on the threshold of celebrating 42 years? No, John. You know, the interesting thing is, is I, I never have been caught up with um, the idea of to plan out in precise ways what's going to happen next week, next month, next year. I never had that kind of thing. I don't have a strategy. I don't have a, a plan. There are those who do, and they do very well. They know what they want to do. They go about to accomplish it. You know, very often what they do is hire teams to make sure they go before them to make sure people know their names so they can accomplish their deeds and all of that. And uh, I just never did that. I, I, I kind of felt that that if I were was faithful, that the little things God would give to me, uh, greater things. And so, I never really felt that I was going to have a forty-year plan. I mean. Who, who knows? I'd never remained faithful in any job for more than a few months, you know, maybe a year. So the idea of having a prolonged commitment that has gone on here for 42 years, <coughs> that's a work of the Lord, to be honest with you. No, I mean, you think about, you compare it to a secular job, and 
you know, in, in those days, 36 years at one position was quite an accomplishment. We're talking about 42 years of a church. Well, that... you're looking at 42 years, yeah, and some marriages don't last that long. Some relationships don't last that long. I mean, if I were just in a secular organization, I'd be retired by now because it's work. In the work of the ministry and the labor ministry, it does, it does, and it does have uh, limits like that. You get to a point where you can't do it anymore. But at this point, we haven't gotten there. Amen. Well, I want to invite our church family to come join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary as we celebrate 42 years. There'll be special music for worship. Yeah. We'll have a time where we sit together and have a Q&A uh, over the years of 42 years here. And what a great, great thing the Lord has done. And so I want to invite you guys to come on out. And Pastor, thank you so much for being faithful to our church. Well, of course. And thank you guys for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.